what was your first inspiration for doing just the mega ramp? I mean, I, the <clears throat> the evolution I saw was that you uh, started with the quarter pipe, like the quarter pipe down at the airport, and did the DCN, and then they did that and the MTV event, yeah. where you were jumping on the helicopter, um, and then you added the jump into it. But how did the whole thing start? I mean, originally the I mean the motivation I got. I mean, since I've been a little kid, I've always liked you know high air, so I've always <clears> been like a fan of. Hustle so, and these guys mm-hmm. blasting huge airs back in the day. Um, and Mike T, Mike Tiransky, the founder of Plant B, um, always wanted me to have the world record for higher. It's like his own personal thing. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, you gotta go get Christian on the higher. Like, like, you know, like, whatever. <laughs> and, he, and there was a trade show event one time down at the, at the trade show, they had a high air contest. <clears throat> and Christian was there and I actually won the higher contest that day. And that was the day I remember Mike was like, come on, this is the deal, dude. you gotta do the higher, get the record, you know? And, and I talked about it with Eminem too. It like, it's got to be an evolution of the ramp to be able to hire. Mm. You know, so we need, you know, to maybe construct a ramp with bigger trainings and whatnot. And obviously, the financial re- the issues hurdles with that over the years kept me from doing it. There's a lot of stuff that we wanted to do as stunts that just no Still, one, no one was gay. <laughs> but but no one was gonna front of me. But like when I when I wanted to do the loop, it took forever to figure out how to get someone to pay for it because you don't know if it's gonna be. Gonna yeah, be and and and, and even if it does work. To what audience? Does anyone yeah. really care that much? Not what skinny just wasn't that big? At that time, yeah. And then obviously the, the <clears throat> biggest motivation I had back in the day when I saw it officially done was Hoffman. Yeah, well, Matt Hoffman was the first one to uh, ever do any sort of rant that was over a normal twelve feet, time. yeah. And then, He's the uh, first guy to go over. And and, and talk about budget constrictions, he just built the quarter pipe in the grass and got towed in on a so motorcycle. Janky too, if you saw the quarter pipe. <laughs> How plywood and sketchy. Yeah. I'm sure that thing wasn't perfect either. But he did it, yeah. He got towed in and went like over 25 feet right. back in the day. And, and then, then the big question was like, can the skateboard go that fast and stay in control? Through the first day that that thing got finished and the skate light was brand new, you know, grip through that stuff. Yeah. Was, like, I didn't know what I needed either. So I went out there like short sleeves, no, no gloves, no like, no hip pads. And the first day was like a war. And I came home with <laughs> no skin on my body. Like, and melted like yeah i didn't know about i didn't know about the uh the sock thing so i just had regular socks on and it kept burning my calves right here yeah. from sliding out so then i just wrapped duct tape around both legs i just looked like some walking like homeless freak on the ramp you know <laughs> it's more out there <laughs> wear whatever you can to keep your skin on the phone. man a mystic man with the evil stare Said I'm the wicked one and quite aware I lost my nerve, I said don't despair My evil sometimes too free